All right, so Dan, you know how much I like football and breaking down game film and the, the intricate side of sports. So now you're going to explain to me what the trampoline effect is when we're talking about the research of softball. I would love to explain to you what the trampoline effect is, except I have absolutely no idea what it is. Lucky for the two of us, though, a local Muhlenberg student does, and Jenna Kowalski was there to get the answer. Have you ever wondered if there's an exact equation to hitting the perfect ball? At Muhlenberg, the players insist the brand of the bat makes all the difference. I know what people talk about in the dugout, oh, my bat's better, Easton's are better, DeMarini's are better. Rising senior Christina Qualben set out to find an answer that would be backed up by science after the physics and math double major was tasked with doing a research project. I'd put a, an accelerometer at this point on every point of the bat, and then I would tap at each one of these dots with a um, impact hammer. That would just be one of the steps to breaking down and analyzing the collision between a bat and a ball. The trampoline effect is an elastic collision that occurs when this uh, ball meets the sweet spot of a bat. So I wanted to investigate what bat can do that the best. Christina tested 16 different brands of bats using a frequency analyzer and with the help of a Penn State University doctor, she calculated all of their sweet spots. I had this idea that I wanted to incorporate two of my loves, softball and physics. So the wheels were turning and I came up with this project to think about what kind of bats were the best. And then uh, Dr. Russell from Penn State, he's a professor of acoustics, he gave a talk at the school about every kind of um, opportunity you can have after undergrad. And he did a lot of stuff with bats and sports equipment. So I immediately went up to him and asked him, how can I get more involved? With the ongoing debate in the sports world of which is the best bat, every player and team still have their own opinions. I've always loved Dean Marini, just the way they feel and the way they sound. And there's a lot of people who love Easton and Louisville. And that's because they like the way uh, the, the ball sounds coming off the bat or the feel. Based on Christina's findings, this CFX bat enabled the trampoline effect the best for her. But it works different for everybody. So don't be getting any ideas, Moravian. I've always loved Dean Marini's because the way they feel, it just feels natural swinging them for me. And I love the sound they make. Uh, and this only just proves to myself that my love for the bat is supported by science. On the scene at Muhlenberg, I'm Jenna Kowalski for Two Sports.